My brothers and sisters in Islam, among the, I'm just mentioning the most you know, significant minor signs that we are encountering now, and a lot of us are living it and we don't even realize it, is that just in general, the balance, there is an imbalance in the whole world, imbalance in societies, imbalance in morals, imbalance in ideologies and methodologies, imbalance in nature, look, imbalance in environment. You could see it, global warming is one of them. But on a more subtle scale, the imbalance of our morals. Look at how much shame has lost its value. And it's all about, it depends how you look at it, they say. I see it this way, you see it that way. I see that marrying a dog and calling it my wife is a normal thing. You see it as not good, that's okay, we can still be friends. Yeah, okay, you can still be friends, but what's this? Are we human beings or what are we now anymore? Alhamdulillah, we ask Allah to keep us sane. Then you got people who believe that wearing clothes only should be when you're cold or when you're sick or just to look good. Otherwise, you should take them off. And they think that we're crazy for wearing clothes because God created us naked. Children, look at this insanity. Then they have homosexuals. A few years back, the world looked negatively against homosexuals. What's happened now in the past 10 years? They think you're the crazy one if you speak against it. You're, the, you're crazy, you, not them. You, you've got a psychological problem. The other day I, was, uh, I heard about, I mean, someone was telling me about this um, Miss Universe. And uh, she was saying, she was asked about homosexuals, gay people. And she said, I think it's unnatural. In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. But that's how I was raised and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Yeah, tabloid, papers, everything went against her. Miss Universe says they're unnatural. She's got to, she, she has to go back and, and, and um, retrieve what she said. And she came up and said, look, I, if, if I want, you want me to respect your values, you've got to respect mine. And anyway, your own president agrees with what I'm saying, Obama. President Obama also said in front of the public that I don't agree with homosexuality, it's unnatural. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. For me as a Christian, it's also a sacred union. But look at the world. It's like you're crazy now. The role of men and women have completely changed. I'm not talking about men helping women or women helping men. I'm talking about complete transformation complete transformation the children take their friends closer to their hearts than their own father this is one of the hadiths the girl grows up and the boy to feel like they are the masters of their mother and their father but especially the mother the woman gives birth to her mistress, to her master girl or master boy because the woman is the mother is weaker and so they boss her around disobedience of parents and rage alhamdulillah among the muslims it's not it's getting worse but it's not that bad as much as those who are who don't have a way of life at all the religion of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they burn their parents beat their parents up i swear by almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that only about if i'm not like i'm trying to be um precise here about a week and a half ago i receive a phone call from a muslim who tells me um i want to kill my brother because he keeps beating my mother up every time he comes in. 40 year old, 37, 38 year old um, animal who comes in and beats his mother up. The other day she said he poured four liters of orange juice on her head when she was asleep because he's sick and tired of caring for you. So he's meant to be her carer and he's getting paid. He's getting paid from the government to be her carer. And she says he's my son. I don't want to put an intervention order on him. I don't want him to go into prison bruises on her legs, on her body from this son. And he said to her the other day, I can't wait until you die. So what's left? For Rasul told us about these signs. He said, last I will not come until 
children will begin to, children as in older ones, will begin to curse their own parents. Among the minor signs as well is that the trustworthy people are no longer trusted and the untrustworthy people are given positions of responsibility and the people are placed in their hands. The liar is believed and the believer is the liar. We live in a world of absolute confusion, brothers and sisters. Rasul said, where the, where the truth seems false and the false seems truth and you don't know what's what. When Muslims fight each other, and he said, when that day comes, avoid them both. Even if you have to live alone on a mountain, surviving on roots of trees. Fitan, qaqita'im min al-layli mudlima. Basically, lots and lots of confusion and mischief, morally, ideologically, and physically. And he said, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, min al-layli mudlima. As if you are standing in a dark night, and there are dark clouds above you, you don't know what it holds. And then he said, يُصْبِحُ الرَّجُلُ مُؤْمِنًا وَيُمْسِي كَافِرًا The person wakes up in the morning a believer and in the evening he's a disbeliever. وَيُمْسِي مُؤْمِنًا وَيُصْبِحُ كَافِرًا Goes in the evening a believer and in the morning is a disbeliever. In other words, Rasul is telling us that people lose their faith immediately, very quickly. And we see this happening now with the internet getting more and more famous and popular and people's communication can be a good thing, but the communication has caused people who ever had a doubt in their head, they find that thousands, millions of other people have got the same doubt and they feel more comfortable with that doubt afterwards. And for example, a lot of youngsters who... I don't want to, I don't want to, give, bad, I don't want to give bad examples because we have youngsters here, but the point is, um, because of this global communication, the majority of the people have used it in a bad way in a very bad way and have become addicted to things that we could never have become addicted to a few years back before the internet came. Addictions to, to, to lust, addictions, like real addictions, like, like drugs and alcohol. They don't want it. They know it's bad, it's ruining their life, but they can't stop it. And it's happening now. And youngsters are becoming sodomites. There's a Muslim gay society in America now and in London and there's one that's just developed in Sydney and a Muslim lawyer woman defended them to establish a Muslim gay organization. I don't know what they're called, but they're in Sydney and slowly in Melbourne. Now, I don't like talking about it because, you know, the, the, the notion that people start getting ideas, but it's become so bad. Everyone knows about it. The point is that's what's happening. The minor signs are becoming flourishing. Is there a God? Is Islam really the right way? Of course it is. But ignorance has become so bad. Rasul Sallallahu told us when ignorance will be everywhere and the scholars will die more and more. Right to the point where the final end of these signs, minor and major, is that the Quran itself will be lifted off the earth. It will no longer be in the hearts or the minds. And the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu That the Quran is lifted out from all the pages, all the... If there is still internet, then it will be out of the, out of the pages, out of the minds. And it won't be taken away like you've memorized and it will be taken away. No, it's with the deaths. Death happens and next generation does not practice the Qur'an. And when you don't practice it, you don't memorize it. You probably memorize it, but you'll forget it. Why? The Qur'an is not there to memorize like a cocky. Because you'll let go of it like that straight away. The Qur'an is memorized in practice. And that's how you remember it. Even if you don't know much of the Qur'an, once you practice its meanings, you will always refer back to the Qur'an. And so the Qur'an will be gone because people will long, no longer refer to it anymore. Now, Rasul Sallallahu told us, there will come a time among the minor signs is that people will say, will reject hadiths and they'll only accept the Qur'an. They'll say, between you and I is the Qur'an. If it's in there, I'll take it. If it's not in there, I don't believe it. He said this hadith. And then what's going to happen after that? Then the Qur'an will be rejected. Now the hadith, which is the, our second of the primary sources, then the first of the primary sources, which is the Qur'an, will also be gone. Look at us today. We find in the Muslim homes, alhamdulillah, there's a lot of children who memorize. But do we put it in practice? Do we teach them its meaning? 
Alhamdulillah, send them off to Pakistan, good. Hey, send them off to India to memorize the Quran, okay, good. But memorization without understanding will benefit nothing. Many of them came back. And where are they? I don't want to say. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, He sent the Quran down to guide. Among the minor signs is that there will be people who will falsely claim that they're prophets. It's today, everywhere. The latest one that I know of is the Mormons, John Smith. He lives in America. He's meant to be a prophet. Why is he a prophet? Well, he wrote a book. <laughs> he wrote a book. That make, makes him a prophet. And he has all good things in there. Um, and many others. There was these other prophets. That, and he, anyone can make a religion up. I guarantee every one of you over here, if you want to make a lot of money and you don't fear Allah, you want to, you want to do that? Every one of you here has an opportunity to make millions. Just make up an idea and publicize it and you'll have followers. You will have followers. Wallah, you'll have followers. <laughs> anything, just make up anything. Alhamdulillah, we've already got followers of uh, those who worship the cow, those who worship the sun, those who worship uh, Satan, those who worship men. There are those who worship human, the, the genitals of, of human beings as well. There are those who worship the ants and the insects. And they worship whatever. And you can have your own followers.